to a farm chore that today I'm letting my youngest son Lux help me with. It's cute because Lux was very excited when he got here to realize that the uh, grass had not grown since the last time he was here. And so he thought he had no chores to do today. <laughs> you know, his chore is to help me mow grass. I always leave him sessions to mow. And so when he got here and he's like, yes, there's no grass. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just because there's no grass does not mean there's no chores. We just gonna, our chores for him will fluctuate with the seasons, guys, with the seasons. Uh-oh, that's a tight fit. Careful, son. Uh-oh. <laughs> Got a little learn, guys. Anyway, this makes a, I, I, I love this because number one, it will help him become responsible. But number two, one of these days, once he grows up and he decides to do his own farming, he'll already have a kind of a heads up knowledge of what it's like to rake pastures. He'll, he'll, he's learning on the job, it's on the job learning. You know, and then this brings up a really valid point that I'm struggling with right now. Ellie and Megan, who have been helping us and doing a fine job at managing I'm a Survivor Sanctuary, they want to bring in another animal. And I don't want to give away too much about the animal, but Ellie needed to use the truck and trailer. And so I haven't told him no. The truck is fine. Ellie can drive the truck with, with no problems whatsoever. But Ellie does not have much experience in driving a trailer. And I'm kicking myself in the butt. I am. I'm kicking myself in the butt for not making him learn to drive that trailer, you know, back when he was younger, helping me do farm chores. I always did it farm. And now he's at the age of 23, almost 24, and he needs to use the truck and trailer. And I'm really struggling, asking myself, is he ready? Is he able to use the truck with the trailer? Because guys, if you've ever pulled a trailer, especially on a highway, you know that it's it's not easy. There are there are challenges to pulling a trailer. Every time you pull off the highway to get gas, fuel, pulling into a tight parking lot, if there's some kind of an issue, you have to back the trailer up. There are so many ways, you know, things can go wrong. And I don't wanna, like I have no faith in my son, but I know for a fact my son does not have that kind of experience. So as a parent, I think that we have to give our kids experiences when we're able to be there to help them and you know help them work themselves through it and yeah as of right now i'm realizing that ellie and megan are excited about what they're embarking on but all of a sudden i'm the one who's like saying lester i didn't do my job i did not do my job looks great son swing out hey look what's gonna happen right here though you're cutting so close that that drag is gonna hit my fence. You cannot, when you when you pull something, like a drag or a trailer, you gotta swing out wide, swing out wide. So you really can't back up very far, but you're gonna have, you're gonna have to back up a little bit. I'll tell you when to stop. That's a perfect moment to teach. So turn your wheel the other way, the other way, the other way. Now back up a little bit. Keep going, back, back, keep going. All right, now, put it in forward and come straight towards me. Right there, perfect. Come straight towards me. Keep coming towards me. Towards me, son. Okay, come on, come on. You did it, there you go. Look at all that. All right, hold on, buddy. Guys, I'm letting you go now. I'm gonna clean off his rake. We're gonna go to our second pasture. It looks really good, son.